Okay, 9.3 measures of regression. Measures of regression. So this section here, we've got a line, okay? The total variation, the explained variation, the unexplained variation. We're gonna explain this with some dots. So say I've got some dot here, got a dot down here and a dot up here. All right, so maybe this dot, this dot is gonna be my x comma x hat. Okay, that's the predicted value, that's my regression line. Okay, this value is gonna be my x comma x bar. So this is my average. So maybe this is the average of all the y values. And then this dot up here is going to be my x comma y value. This is the data value. Okay? So data point predicted and then the average. Now, the difference between so total variation is the difference between the value and the data value and the average and I square it and add it up. That's the total variation. So this total variation here, this is the total variation, deviation. It's your y minus your y bar, okay? Now, there's two other pieces going on here. The total variation is made up of two components. Your explained variation. The explained variation is the difference between the y hat, the predicted, and the average squared and I sum it up so the difference between the predicted and the average okay that variation that's explained okay it's the explained deviation what we can explain in the model between the predicted and the average and then the last is the unexplained variation. The unexplained variation is the difference between the um, y value, okay, and the predicted value, okay, squared, sum it up. So this is that difference there, right, that difference. This is the unexplained deviation. The unexplained deviation. This is the y value minus the y hat value. The explained is the y hat value minus the y bar value. Okay. So what do I know? I know that total variation is equal to the explained variation plus the unexplained variation. Okay, so the total 
is equal to the explained plus the unexplained. All the information out there, you've got things that you can explain and you've got things that you cannot explain. All right, so that's how we think about it, is the total variation is equal to the explained versus the unexplainable. Now the explained is the explained by the relationship between X and Y. Okay, it's explained by the relationship between X and Y. And then the unexplained is obviously it cannot be explained by the relationship between X and Y. So I'm going to get lazy here and just copy this. Okay. So the value, the value, the, the expected variation, that red difference there is explained by that relationship. But the difference, the total deviation from the average to the data point is explained by the red and also the green here. Okay, the explained and the unexplained. The unexplained is that difference that can't be explained between the relationship of X and Y. Now, a way to measure is through, let's use red here, the coefficients of determination The ratio of the explained variation to the total variation. Now, ratio is a fancy word for fraction. R squared, the coefficient of determination, this is equal to the explained variation divided by the total variation. Think of it as the part over the whole. That's how we get our percentage, okay? So the higher your R squared, so like a R squared equal to like 0.98, that's a high R squared. That means that the model is explained, the variation in the model is explained, 98% 90, of the variation in the model is explained between the relationship of X and Y. Very powerful. So what this is telling me is that the stronger my model is, the more that it explained by the relationship between X and Y, the higher my R square is. So the R square tells me how good effectively the model is, all right? So say you found an R equal to 0.874. And if you run through the statistics of that last example we did in in this section here of 9.2, if we run with these data values, so if you haven't watched this video, maybe a good idea to watch it, type this in your L1 and this in your L2, and then you're gonna find an R of 0 0.76, I mean, sorry, 8736. What I wanna know is the coefficient of determination. Either you read it off, or you square it. That's all you gotta do. So if R equals 0.874, then R squared equals 0.874 squared. When I type that into my calculator, I'm gonna get 0.764. How do I interpret this? So about 76.4% of the total variation in the CO2 emissions. Okay, this is my X value, right? That's my, no, actually that's the Y value, the Y value, okay? All right, um, can 
be explained by the relationship between GDP and CO2 emissions. Okay? But on the flip side of that, about using the complement rule, 1 minus 74.4%, that'd be 23.6% of the variation is unexplained. Okay? It's unexplained. You are not going to calculate R squared by hand. Use the TI-84 to calculate R squared. Okay? All right, guys. Good luck working through your problems.